Hi YouTube, my boyfriend and I are in the final stages of buying a house and so I wanted to start vlogging to document the process. It's looking like it's all going to be completed within the next three to four weeks. We are buying in London. We found a really lovely three bedroom cottage. We started seriously looking at properties about six, seven months ago. We've been saving for years. It's going to be quite a crazy, a little bit stressful, exciting next few weeks. So I wanted to share my experience of the house buying process, the steps involved and all the things that you need to do some key tips and saving hacks and help give some insight into the world of buying a property. Can't believe that it's actually happened. We're gonna be homeowners in London. New year, new chapter, new house. Um, we're getting the keys to our brand new home um, on Friday the 22nd of January. So that's really soon, it's next week. It's been a whirlwind, like we don't know anyone that's been through this process in such a short space of time. Seven weeks is not the norm, definitely pros but definitely cons as well to that. Apart from the speed of things and how quickly things were moving, the process has been pretty straightforward. So yeah, can't wait to share the experience with you guys. We just got sent through our remaining balance to pay our solicitors. So we've already paid 10%, so the rest of our deposit and legal fees, etc., need to be paid. But yeah, we had to pay the 15% deposit, as a lot of people are having to do right now. Banks are being a lot more strict and tight with who they're giving uh, mortgages out to, um, but also they're generally requesting a 15% deposit rather than 10. 10% 10 deposit would have been nice but it is what it is. We've got to think about the positives. We are getting a house. We're paying off more of the mortgage with a bigger deposit. We're definitely in a fortunate position because we were able to do that. I'm going to head to the bank. I'm on my lunch break. Miguel is really busy. I'm really busy with work too so I'm going to run to the bank and make this transfer. This is definitely the most adult thing I've ever had to do which is scary, but it's, you know, a huge milestone. So looking forward to it. It's Tuesday, what day is today? It's Tuesday today, and um, we get the keys on Friday. So hopefully it'll be cleared in time to get the keys. So I'm on the way to, oh, it's cold. I'm on the way to the bank. Just a few things that I wanted to mention whilst I'm on the way. Tips on um, improving your credit score or things that do help with having a strong credit score are making sure that you basically can show the lenders and show the world that you can manage money, that you're responsible um, and you can pay things back on time. So having things like a credit card, which is something that I did about two years ago, I set up an American Express, you know, have a direct debit coming out every month. Um, things like your phone bill, utility bills, if you could set things up in your name, in your current property, wherever you are living right now, all that kind of really, really helps. Now that we have exchanged our contracts and we have a completion date, uh, we're in the final stretch of the house buying process. We're currently looking at our finances tonight, home and building insurance. So I thought it'd be a good time just to lay out the process step by step. Step one is calculate your budget. So this is generally five times your salary or your combined salary if you're buying with someone else. Set saving goals, but be realistic. Buying a house is really tough. Buying a house in a global pandemic and in a recession is even tougher. Generally, a higher deposit is required. Also, don't forget about legal fees and stamp duty as well. Currently there's stamp duty tax relief um, until the end of March so we were really keen to make use of that. Second step is start your search. So head over to Rightmove, have a look online, get a feel for the different areas that you want to look at and um, have a bit of a criteria and that might change along the way but it's useful to know what kind of property you'd like, a house, a flat, a maisonette, um, how many bedrooms, if you want a garden. That's super useful to have at the start. Then when you find a few properties that you like the look of, start to book in viewings. This is the fun part, or I found it fun anyway. At the same time, it's good to um, align with a broker. So, you know, ask for recommendations, have a look online. This will be helpful when you uh, want to start putting serious offers in. 
and you're serious about a property and really like it or maybe a few properties, now's the time to work with um, a broker to get a decision in principle so that when you do make offers, the sellers and the estate agents will take you just a little bit more seriously. At the same time, start thinking about um, a solicitor, maybe ask for recommendations again. A solicitor will become really important in the next few steps. Then if you have an offer accepted, which is really exciting, You'll then work with your broker who will scan the market and find the best mortgage deal available Then start working with your solicitor who will get the ball rolling. Um, there's a lot of documentation at this point that you'll need to provide um, and a lot of things that you'll need to sign. Next step is um, for the solicitor to run all of the checks and surveys on the house. This is kind of a waiting game. There's not really much you can do. You just have to wait for all of the surveys and checks to come back, make sure that you're happy with everything. And if you wanna question anything, of course do. No question is a stupid one. Make sure that you feel clear and confident with everything at this point, because it's all getting very real and serious. One of the final steps in the process is actually signing the contract and exchanging them with the seller. This kind of means you're not going back because the sale is then legally binding. Almost there at this point. After you exchange the contracts, um, around that time you'll then agree a completion date. Completion date will mean the date that you will get your keys and you can actually move in. So that was a quick and brief overview of the steps. For us, we've been very lucky. It's taken just under eight weeks to do all of that. If you're a first time buyer like us, this was all very new. So try and enjoy the process. It can be overwhelming and stressful, especially with all of the daily challenges that life can throw at you. But if you stay organized and try and stay on top of things, um, you'll get there in the end, hopefully. It's Thursday morning today. I'm just about to start my day. But before I do, some saving tips. And by no means am I a saving expert or a financial advisor, but I did wanna share some saving tips, some money hacks that we found helped us. Payday saving. When you do get paid, whether it's weekly, monthly, whenever, put that money away and save it kind of on the day. Do it straight away so it's kind of out of your mind, out of your sight, and it's in your ISA or wherever you store money. Stocks and shares are a really good option to invest your money and hopefully see it grow. I have a shares option with my company as an employee to invest in shares um, and pay into that on a monthly basis as part of my salary. If that is an option for you, I would highly recommend it because um, you kind of forget about it and it just comes out and it's all kind of automated. You kind of get a nice surprise. So if you let that grow um, all the way until you can actually take it back, it's definitely helpful. Cooking at home. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good dining experience, I love a good restaurant vibe, but I mean, it's kind of been forced upon us with the lockdown and everything, but um, cooking at home really makes quite a big difference. My cakes now are like, things like that can really help, and it's fun, and maybe like us, you'll get into it. Deals, vouchers, and guidance from people like Martin Lewis. We love a deal, we love a good bargain, we've always kind of been that way, but when you're kind of in the saving mentality, it kind of is intensified, <laughs> or at least we found that. Deals, loyalty cards, um, point-based loyalty cards, things like that, it really does help, and good old Martin Lewis, shout out to you because I feel like you've just given us so many tips. Love it. Be savvy, have a look and see what's out there. Budgeting and in particular traveling on a budget. If you're like me and you love to travel, this is something that I just wanted to point out because you might look through my Instagram and think, gosh, she goes on holiday like all the time. How has she been able to save? Um, and you're right, I have been very lucky, but that's important to me. And I think going into my 20s, I was like, these next few years are gonna be my, um, my kind of traveling years, making memories, visiting as many kind of cool places as possible. So I didn't want to lose that. What I will say is, even though traveling in general is a, is a cost, there are ways you can budget. So we turned to Airbnb, we looked at things like Skyscanner, we were trying to be more flexible with our times. If you're quite strict and savvy, like I say, with finding deals and and making the right choices. And I think what helps with that is budgeting. So if you can you know, map out all of your spending, being really strict with your budget is, is also key. Those are my little thoughts for the morning, for the day. The next time you hear from me will be tomorrow when we have the key.
How do you feel to be a homeowner, Mr. Martins? Like a G. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a little look around the house and have some champagne. So hopefully you found this video useful. We've just arrived back at the house to do some painting and get started. It's actually snowing. It looks amazing already. It's really quite thick. It's really cold. So we're gonna get inside and uh, get started. But please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos and can't wait to share all the house videos with you.